again, use everything minimalistically. And then your luminance lighter will actually blend the noise. Now, the luminance lighter is really fun to use on people because you can really blend um, skin tone and stuff as well. Well, I, I need someone with less perfect skin, but um, if, you, if you turn up the luminance lighter, it'll really give it a very, very soft model look and maintain the detail in there. But anytime you have noise, this is where you want to go. Come down to your luminance lighter and your color slider. The detail, contrast, that gets more complicated. And I have to have very specific images to show that example. Okay, now let's go to this guy. Now, you asked how I would edit this. I, I really haven't even messed with this. This is a shot that I took a couple weeks ago, and I just love this room, and they were running around in there by themselves, and I just shot it, and I thought, you know, I'll play with it later. Um, but one of the things that was so amazing about this room is it was bright white. It was blue warm. So I really want to show that off. So my first my first thing would be to grab the exposure slider because I really want the blacks and the midtones to stay. So I would grab that. And it's always better, especially when you're getting familiar with the tools, to go past where you want it to be and then come back. Because then you can see what too far is. And then you can bring it back. If we just start at zero and we, and we tweak up, we might go, well, that's good. But we don't know. So I always like to kind of play with it, go a little further, and kind of see what we're doing. I really love the warm tone in there and probably would isolate them a little better with the cropping. One thing I should point out uh, with cropping is when you choose your crop tool on the right-hand side, you have a couple of options in there. You have an angle tool, but if you click on the little lever next to the angle, you can come in and you can drag a line, and it will auto-align the horizon for you. Also, you have an aspect ratio for your crop tool. I do everything original because I, the way that I, I run my process, everything has to be exactly the same size for my gallery showing to my clients. But after that, you can definitely come in here and have different sizes. 8 by 10, 11 by 14, 5 by 7, you can create all your own custom sizes. Or you can undo the padlock and you can just create a freeform crop. So you can really do whatever you want here. And there you go. So that would be your freeform crop. Um, how are we doing on time, Casey? I was going to do a little bit on exporting, and then 